Hello, my name is Dion McNeil. Um, the point of this video is to give anyone with my last name, specifically my sons, Langston and Khalil, and also any of my family members, a direct line to slavery from where you are right now. I want to give you a lineage and also educate the general public. This map that you see on the screen before you is the map of where my people were taken from, the Igbo people. I know that's an incredible claim, but I'm going to show you how I got to that conclusion. So here is my family tree. I'm going to zoom out. And we're going to go all the way down here to me. Dion Talbert McNeil. And my mother and father is Jacinto A. Rines, my mom. And my dad is Jimmy Lee McNeil. His and my grandmother is Mary Sue McNeil, May Sue, and uh, Freeman McNeil. And then my great grandparents on uh, my grandfather's side is Covell McLean, Jarvis McNeil, and then he married another person, um, Nettie McNeil, over here. Now, the McLeans, we related to the McLeans and the McNeils. When you go up here to the McLeans, what you're going to see here are these two here John Archie McLean, Katie McLean, and as you go up here, Things kind of cut off there, right? But then you go through the father there, Jarvis McNeil, same last name, and you start seeing some more interesting things. You see Maggie, uh, my second great grandparents, John R. Uh, John R. McNeil, and Maggie M. McLean. Now, as you're noticing, the McNeil usually it was spelled with two L's, as you can see towards the top. But then, as you go towards the bottom, it's spelled with one L. So that shows you how in some families. You, you may be having difficulty finding out who your folks are because sometimes people misspell things because these people, a lot of them are slaves and they come from slaves. A lot of these people couldn't read or write. So it's very, very understandable if they misspell things or don't remember things or things are misrecorded. So with that being said, let's continue. So as you go up here, you're starting to notice that his mom is here. His mom is here, and his mom is Peggy McNeil, two L's. And Peggy goes up to Joe McNeil and Dicey Murkison, Dicey Murkison. But also, these people here, Jack McLean and Rose McLean, they go up to Jesse McLean and Lily May, to Lily May McLean. That's my fourth great, great grandparents. So then you go up here to Jack McLean. And this side here is not is super important until you get Cecilia McNeil. Same McNeil name. Why is Cecilia important? Cecilia, as you may or may not know, is the daughter of a slave. And she's a slave herself. And as you go up, you will see all these people here, every last one of them, all slaves, all of them. In fact, you even can see where some of them are even being listed as, as African. Like, for example, Father McLean. If you click on his profile, Father McLean is a picture of the Igbo people in Africa. Mother McLean, she's also from Africa. Jeannie McLean, also from Africa. Um, this person here is from, is, is from Africa. This person here is the brother of Father McLean. Uh, <laughs> Father McLean is my sixth great-grandfather. And the unknown person up here from the Iglekpo tribe, um, Igbo, and the unknown uh, Igbo woman here are the top of my lineage. So, let's go through some things here. Sarah McLean, uh, Sarah McLean McNeil, is the name of a slave, and the slave owner is Catherine McNeil, white woman. Get a good, get a good look at that. It's a little gallery of going through some of the history of my family there. George uh, George Archibald McLean Martin is my maternal grandfather of the wife of fifth great grand of fifth great grandfather. This man is also from Africa, and that's why his profile picture is a African slave ship, a, well, a slave ship that where they, where they kept the Africans on. Um, if you open it up, you can see that. Yeah, it was, it was to symbolize that. And then here you have Sarah McLean again. Lucy McLean Chapman. She was a slave at age 55 when this was recorded. A uh, sister-in-law to fifth great-grandfather. She was born in 18, born in 1815 and she passed away in 1880. She was in Barbecue, North Carolina. She had 16 brothers and 21 sisters. Wow. 
her her father and mother, uh, Jill and Jenny, ha, they had a lot of children, or or, or his father or mother had had other children outside the marriage. But holy smokes, sixteen brothers and twenty one sisters. Wow. Mother Africa McLean Garrett. She's another slave. She was born in 1758 and she passed away in 1822. Maternal grandmother of wife of fifth great grandfather. And so she comes from the Igbo people. And I, I'll show you more about the Igbo in a second. Uh, it's just, I, I want to get to that point. Georgia Archibald again. So I, I opened up several tabs for this guy. Uh, Father McLean, uh, I want to talk about him for a second. So he was born in Nigeria. Um, which means that he was obviously a slave. He was taken from Africa. And he was a part of the Igbo people. And I'm going to, once again, give you a lot more information about the Igbo people. But um, he's my sixth great-grandfather. And uh, there's a lot of things about the Igbo people you, you got to know. So this is a map of um, of Igbo lands right there, in, specifically in, in Nigeria. And uh, that that's just one, one part of it that I want to show you now. There's another part of it here. And it, it encompassed all that, that colored in particular area right there. So the Igbo, many of them, um, they were known to be rebellious. They would uh, not remember, uh, they would not uh, remember that they were slaves. They would uh, fight back. And that's what you're supposed to do. Now, we're going to get more into that for a second. So the rebellious nature of the Igbo, um, the Igbo landing mass unaliving of 1803, the Igbo were brought into America, and there was a mass unaliving. They they wouldn't allow themselves to be enslaved. The Igbo were known. They were known to be rebellious. They were known to fight back. They were known to be exactly what the, the character Killmonger in um, the Black Panther movie spoke about towards the end when you know, uh, he, he told uh, Tikala that he didn't want him to save him because it, uh, his ancestors knew that, you know, jump, jumping from the ships was a better, was a better end. One of the things that he was, he was referring to is this. These people would, would not only cause slave rebellions, they would try to cause mutinies on, mutinies on the slave ships, or they would just take, take, take themselves out. They wouldn't allow themselves to be put in bondage. You know, and this is, this has been written about a lot about my people. Um, it's on Georgia Shores, on, on, on Georgia Shores. So, you know, we, we, we weren't just in South Carolina. We weren't just in, you know, Virginia. We weren't just in Tennessee. We we're also in Georgia. You know, so our, our people were known to be rebellious. Our people were known to not just take it, you know. And as you can see, Father McLean, he had a lot of kids. And a lot of those kids ended up becoming our ancestors. Our direct ancestors. This is um, a list here of where Archibald McLean had a list of his slaves. So if anyone's ever questioning you about, you know, your lineage, if you're if you are a McNeil, or if you are someone who's one of my kids, or someone who's one of the kids of, uh, you know, another McNeil, if someone's questioning you about your lineage, you can just show them this and say, hey, that's pretty concrete. That's 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 pretty concrete proof right there. And this is linked to Celia McNeil. Jesse McLean, not a slave, but again, I want you to understand, our people are a proud people, but our people also come from slaves, and we are a people who persevered, who resisted all along the way. And now that's just with my father's side. When you get to my mom's side, well, you got the... One of the first black lawyers in the country ever. You got a lot. You, I mean, you got a lot there. But just on my dad's side, I can link it all the way back to chattel slavery in this country. I can link my lineage all the way back to the 1700s.